Hey everybody, what is going on on this nice hunker down weekend here? We have a brand new product that Turtle Wax sent me. It is Turtle Wax Hybrid Solution, so it's a brand new high end stuff. It's supposed to be mixed with SiO2 ceramic acrylic black polish here. So, what we're going to be doing here is this is formulated basically for black cars. And as I didn't have a black car, I had to go find one. Fortunately, I have a great neighbor down the street whose late husband has a black minivan here. So I asked, I said, hey, can I get it for you? And she said, sure, I'll leave the keys out back for you and you can go ahead and take it for as long as you need it. So two thumbs up to her. Thank you so much for letting me borrow your van. We're gonna make this thing look beautiful here. So what I went ahead and did is I've already had and washed the car, the van. We're gonna be pulling it in the garage. I will be clay barring it to make sure we're doing right. And then we're gonna actually get into actually applying this. I will tell you though, it actually says on it right here, remove scratches, and other paint imperfections, black pigmented polish and carnauba wax fills light imperfections and leaves a deep, rich black shine. So right there on the thing, it says it will have a fillers in it. So don't think this is going to be like a true compound or whatever that's going to completely remove the swirls. Understand now that this will have some light polishing properties, but it also has fillers as well to help fill in the actual swirls to make it look like they're essentially all gone. So here we go. Let's go ahead and bring it in the garage. I'm going to go ahead and start prepping it up. We're going to light it all up in there. Have some fun this afternoon, late afternoon actually. But thanks so much for Turtle Wax and thank you neighbor for letting me borrow your awesome van. Let's go inside. All right guys, welcome back to Inside the Garage. What I really wanted to do is before I get there, I want to actually tell you how I actually prepped the paint here to go ahead and work with the actual ceramic, uh, ceramic acrylic black polish here. I started out with Turtle Wax Max Power at the maximum power set. We were stripping off any old waxes, sealants, whatever was on here. But I could tell when I actually watched the car, the van, there wasn't anything actually on the van. So it worked out good, but just to cover my base, I went ahead and went full max power with the Turtle Wax stuff. By the way, I love this. I use this nonstop anytime I'm going to prep a car to go ahead and wax, seal it, whatever. I always bring this out. As you can tell, I've used a lot of it. Also, I went ahead and then came back with a clay bar, or a clay block that is, and then I went ahead and I've done actually the hood right quick. So what I want to do before it gets too, too dark, and I have a nice little up in here, is go ahead and actually go from here. So let's go ahead, bring out the bottle, and actually show you what uh, the directions are. So the directions, wash and dry car, shake well, avoid application on hot surfaces. For best results, do not over apply high active formula. Two ounces per vehicle is recommended. Two ounces is all they're saying it is. That's phenomenal. I think that's pretty good. Probably this is, would probably take more because it is such a big minivan. But that's not bad. It has a total of 14 ounces. So relatively, I should say about seven uh, cars would follow their actual rules here. Now, we're going to go with the machine application on this one. Machine application, apply four dime-sized drops evenly spaced onto a medium foam buffing pad. Ap apply to a two-by-two two foot section using a DA machine at low speed to spread out the product, then high speed using light to moderate pressure in a cross hatch pattern. Remove excess with a microfiber cloth. Use a damp microfiber cloth to remove high spots and active uh, shine polymers. Re-wipe with dry microfiber cloth if necessary. So basically, it's just like any other thing out there, we're just gonna use it with a machine polisher and go from there. One thing I wanted to show you guys, one second here, is, check it out. Because this actually box came in a kit, and I guess uh, this is how they're going to sell their kits, it came with two foam pads, which is great. But on the back, I don't know if you guys are going to see this really good. This is actually Turtle X Hybrid, so I don't know if they make their own now, if they've done a collaboration with the actual pad main company. But that's really cool that it actually came with it and made in the USA. And in these times right now, we're depending on all those countries and all those other dramas going on. Thank you for making it in the USA. I really do appreciate that. Even if you are collabing with another country, uh, company that is Turtle Wax, two thumbs up for you. So let's go ahead without beating around the bush. What I'll do is I'm gonna get a small section. I'm going to show you on camera what it looks like before, and I'll bring out the swirl finder light, and then I'll show do a little 50-50 area, and we'll actually see how it is with just one set of crosshatch pattern, and then we'll go from there if we wanna try a second layer or anything like that. Let's go start having some fun. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is we're on over here on the driver's side of the actual hood, and we're gonna do a little bit of 50-50 play here. Now, I can't find my blue painter tape because I'm turning into old man. I'm gonna try and find it here again in a second, but let's bring out the swirl finder light and actually see what the paint looks like right now before we actually start. So hopefully the camera is going to show this stuff. I really do hope so. Um, I don't know how well it's going to show up, but these swirls are horrific. I mean, I'm sure they just run it through a little tunnel car wash, stuff like this. I'm sure you are actually seeing this. But this is what we're going to try and correct right through here. This is plain as day. And this is why I like this kind of stuff because if you would have seen this on one of my cars, hypothetically, if I had a black one, it wouldn't look like this because my stuff is for the most part, pretty stinging good. And uh, so this is gonna be an excellent, excellent test here. 
So this is the section we're gonna work on right here. You can see it's pretty nasty, pretty swirled out. And then what we'll do here is we'll go ahead and knock out this two by two foot section and see what we have after just one set of passes. So hold on to your pants, let's go have some fun. All right, here we go. We're gonna do the little two by two foot section because I can't find my blue painter's tape because I'm an old man here. This is what's gonna be fun. It has a black pigment in it and I showed this on my live stream on the stuff. You will actually see it once I put it on the orange pad. So get ready for it. We're just gonna put four little small areas on it and uh, go from there. Do one, two, three, four. All right, that should be more than enough. Lay that down. Remember, cord over shoulder, as always. And then we're just gonna go ahead and move on from there. Straight on over. Let's spread the product out. Always spread it out first. You don't want this stuff turning on, slinging it everywhere. And uh, get ready, it's gonna be a little loud, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the sound for you. Remember though, low level just to go ahead and spread it, and then we're gonna kick it up to the high level to actually do the actually polishing work of it. So I'm only on level one right now, Grills Garage Polisher. They have a brand new one out, definitely uh, recommend it. Here we go. Remember to always shut your machine off while it's still on the paint. Do not pull it away when it's on thing or you're going to be slinging it everywhere. Pro tip there, I learned that from high, high end pros. I might as well pass on the knowledge to you. Cool thing is, Turtle Wax, if you buy their uh, big uh, set products, send you two microfiber tiles as well. Sweet. So again, here we go. I can see one or two big scratches here, but remember this paint wasn't particularly in the best shape to begin with. But that's why I like this because we're going to actually uh, see how it works from here. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, I can see the black on there. Can you guys see that? That's the black actually pigment for the polish. So remember, this is just one uh, cross hatch pattern pass. So about six passes for one set is what I would say is what I'm doing it here. Man, it feels so much more easy. I mean, the, the microfiber towel is just sliding across. Can I see swirls in here? Yes, this looks like it's been scratched pretty stinking good whoever, wherever they've taken it in the past. There's a lot of deep little scratches through here. But let's go ahead and actually see what it looks like after just one pass. And you can easily see where I haven't even touched it yet. So let's bring the camera right, You can actually see it. You'll, you'll see this side's not been done because I can't find a blue painter tape. This side has. You guys just got to see it. Let's see what it looks like now. And I can definitely see the scratches, but check that out. It's not near as bad as it was. Holy cow. And this is just one pass. What I'm gonna do for fun here is I'm gonna make multiple passes here, make another set of passes, but there's some really deep scratches. It looks like wherever they took it, maybe to get uh, washed, it really scratched it up pretty good on top. But from what it was, wowzers, wowzers, wowzers. So much better, so much better. And yeah, hopefully you guys are actually seeing the same thing that I'm seeing here. Hopefully you guys can see it. Let's try a different angle for you guys, just so that way you guys can see it. Remember, so there you go. You can see a couple of those big scratches I keep seeing at different angles. But compared to what it was, this is one set of pass. This is much, much better. And just to give you an idea, let's take you over to a section that I didn't even touch yet with the actual polisher. Now look at that. Look at that now. So you can see it's all swirled out. Remember this is the area we haven't even touched yet. And then we're gonna come over here to the area I have touched. Look at that. Look at the difference. Yes, there's definitely swirls left, but remember it's not like a true cutting compound. And look at that. Wow, Turtle Wax, pretty good product for what it is. For a person who just wants to do a quick once over polish, this is not too bad whatsoever. Look at that. Look at that, and then we'll go back to here. Again, don't expect 100% clearing. If you want that, you're gonna to need to go up to a compound and then maybe come down to a polish. But from what it was, 
to now is absolutely freaking stunning. There you go, real world results. Absolutely real world, love it. Let me go ahead and start wrapping this up so that way we don't drag the video on too long. All right, without extending the video too, too long, what I wanted to do is I wanted to do a second pass, see if it made any difference, if it added any more correction, or it's basically stayed about the same. So let's go ahead, take a look at it, and we'll go from there. Let's start out, hopefully it's showing up really good on the swirled out section. Hopefully the camera is getting in focus here for you guys. And so this is the swirled out section we've already seen before. We're gonna work our way over here. And it still looks pretty good. Do I still see scratches and swirls in the paint? Yes, I do, okay? I'm not expecting it to be a compound. This is just a one-time polish, knockout polish, give a little bit of wax protection at the same time, and go about your day with some fillers, okay? So I don't expect a lot, but from what I'm getting from just two passes alone, that's pretty good. Especially for the people that are made, but maybe don't have the time to do a proper compound and polishing. Look at this typical swirls over here. This is awful, awful. And then you'll see, we'll immediately jump back over here, and it looks a lot better. So this is made for the people, I would say, that don't want to spend hours and hours and hours. They just want to hit it one time, get a little bit of polishing in, get rid of some of the swirls, as well as put a nice little thin layer of wax protection on there. And again, they have their black acrylic uh, spray wax that you would add on top of this for even added protection and added fillers. And uh, we'll have a separate video for that, but pretty stinging good. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we can't really argue about this, can we? It, it does exactly what it says it's going to do, nothing more. So two thumbs up for me when it comes to this. God, Lord, this paint was really bad condition. And then we come over here, just stellar. Great job, Turtle Wax, great job, wow. Real quick, one thing I wanted to actually show you guys here before I finish off the rest of the hood is, I wanted to show you that it actually has some bad of uh, water uh, repelling technology in it, because of course it has carbon wax in it. Now, I went ahead and did the center section. I still haven't done this area, so what I'll do is I'll show you a little bit at a time. How's that sound? And then we'll just come from here. So basically, nothing crazy. Just whatever, right? Whatever's on there, nothing crazy. Let's go over here to an area that I've already went ahead and waxed. Let's see what it really looks like. Look at that, can you see those really tight beads? Hopefully the camera's gonna get in there and focus on you guys. I'm doing the best I can to make sure I show it to you guys. Look at that. Obviously, there was obviously something here a while ago, even with stripping it, there's a little bit of protection, but it's basically all gone. And then you come back over here, and you just see the nice, tight, tight, tight beads. Look at this. And this is, remember, because it does have a carnival wax in it. Look at that. So this is really cool, and I did want to really show it to you guys, because I'm sure some people were probably asking, but Chad, I thought it had some kind of protection in it because it was a combination. It does, it does. And again, this is an area that I have yet to do on the VM. As you can see, nothing really. And then you just pan over here, and you can clearly see the difference. So there you go, I thought it was really fun. I love doing water tests, but because it's car already night and I'm doing the rest of the car, you're not really gonna get a good view of it, obviously, at the hose. So why don't I show it to you with a little bit of a squirt bottle. And there, so there you go, guys. Hope you all really did like this review. There you go. I hope you are just as impressed with the results as I am. I'm going to go ahead and hit up the rest of the vehicle. What I am worried about with wrapping it up so early for you guys is that it's going to get dark and you won't see really good results. Yes, I have good lighting here. Yes, I have the light. But you've already seen what it can actually do with a swirl finder light that's not going to be able to hide those swirls. You know, when you get a swirl finder light or you're out in the sun, yeah, you can't hide it. You know what I mean? And a lot of people out there I see all the time. Uh, posting pictures. Man, it looks great. But then you walk up to the car and you see it in the sun. Everybody knows where I'm going with this one. You can see all the swirls and you're like, ew, that's nasty. And so I really want to be able to get to there and show you now before it got too dark about it. For what it is, it is a polish with fillers in it and it has some wax protection on it. I would say this is a great product, especially for you all who have darker to black cars, especially like this one. You see how nasty the swirls really are in this paint, and yet you can see with just one pass, and then it came back with the second pass, how much of those swirls are gone, and uh, how much of them, at least it filled in the best it could, the rest of them. I am very impressed. Would I say it got rid of 100% of the swirls? No. 
I'd say I got rid of maybe 50 to 70% of the squirrels. And that's being honest with you. You can see it. I can still see that there's a couple long scratches through here. I don't know what they used before, where they took it, but you can tell it's some nasty brush lines through here and it's pretty bad. So I probably have to break out some heavy duty compound. But I'm telling you right now, for a quick one over, easy one all protection, stuff like this, this is something you want to look at. A lot of you all out there used to always love 3D HD speed. Essentially, it's the same kind of stuff. And Turtle Wax is now making a product just as good all day long. And I'm actually really impressed. I would like to see if I could talk to Turtle Wax alone. I would like to see you guys come with hybrid technology, pure compound and pure polish. No wax in it, nothing. I would love to see what you guys can do up there. So that way we could do some true correction here and see what we could really get with it. That would be a lot of fun. But anyways, I hope you all really did like this video. It's a truth video here. Uh, and that's what I try and do on my channel. I try and show the truth. Have a little bit of fun with it. Keep it lighthearted. I'm a regular Joe. You're a regular Joe. I don't do this as a hobby. I do this as a hobby. I don't do it as a real job. And so I'm going to treat it just the way I would do it if I was buying it off the shelf over at Walmart. And I hope you guys like that kind of true real world results. So there we go. Thank you so much, TurtleBox, for giving me the opportunity to try this product out. Thank my neighbor. I appreciate it so much that she would allow me to use her uh, husband's van for me to actually test some stuff out. So I'm going to make sure her vehicle is spotless by the time I return it to her. I guarantee it. But thanks again, guys. We will be trying their new uh, ceramic acrylic black wax on top of this. Once I actually get done, that'll be for probably tomorrow. I'll go ahead and do this because I want to go ahead and finish the rest of this up now. But anyways, thanks so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button for me. Subscribe, and I will see you all at the very next review. Take care, guys.